of the week. I'm Danika and today we've got a really nice story that we can do some finger spelling with. We're going to do a book called A, B or B, C. So using our hands or using keyword sign to spell out some letters is a really great thing for literacy skills. So you might like to make the sounds A or A, B or B, K or S, because sometimes a C says K and sometimes it says S. So it's a really great way to familiarize young children with letters and their sounds. This one's an alpha prints book too, so all the pictures are beautiful fingerprints. So let's see what we can see that starts with A, B, C. Mm, I wonder if you know what this one is. We're going to do the sign for insect or beetle. It's an ant. A is for ant. Munching lunch as it goes. B, you can do that with fingers up or down. B is for bear with a sweet round nose. I wonder if you noticed on the last page that the words were rhyming. So last time we had goes and knows. Let's listen for some rhyming words on this page. C is for cat with whiskers so long. D makes a capital D, doesn't it? D is for dinosaur or dinosaur. Big, green, and strong, or strong. What letter are we up to next? It's an E, so our vowel fingers are all on our non-dominant hand, A, E, I, O, U. We're up to E, which is the second vowel. E is for elephant that loves nutty treats. F is for frog, leaping, jumping on webbed feet. I wonder how a frog might jump. Ribbit, ribbit. G is for giraffe or giraffe. So tall, grand and yellow. H is for horse, a sweet, gentle fellow. Soft and gentle. I, oh, that's our next vowel finger. I is for iguana. So we're going to do the sign for lizard. I is for iguana that loves to climb trees. J is for jellyfish wobbling through the seas. K is for koala from a country down under. That means Australia. L is for lion, make his mane, with a roar like thunder. Now, don't they? M is for monkey. Very happy and cheeky. N is for newt. Now, a newt is another type of lizard. We don't have these in Australia. N is for newt. Being quiet and sneaky. O, another vowel. O is for owl, hooting loudly in the night. Because that's when owls come out, don't they, at night time. P 
P. P is for penguin. Hungry for a tasty bite. He wants something to eat. I wonder if you know what he's trying to catch. Maybe a fish. Or a fish. Q is for Queen Bee. So busy or busy buzzing around. R is for Rhino. That stomps on the ground. You might like to make your hands stomp the way a rhino would. Stomp, 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 stomp. S is for squirrel, another animal that we don't have in Australia. So let's just make an S for that one. S is for squirrel that never stay still. They're very busy, busy animals. T is for toucan, parrot, with a mighty fine bill or a big beak. U, our last vowel, U is for unicorn. And did you know there's no sign for unicorn? You might like to make your own gesture. Maybe put a little horn on your head, like a gesture. U is for unicorn, full of magic and grace. V is for vole. Another animal that doesn't live in Australia, a vole, it's a type of field mouse. V is for vole with a sweet little face. W is for walrus, which is a type of marine mammal with long tusks. Count his tusks. One, two. And X is for x-ray fish or fish. You can see right through. Y is for yak, which is a type of wild ox. Maybe we could spell that one. Y-A-K or Y-A-K. A huge hairy beast. Z is for zebra. The last but not least. So you might notice during that story from A to Z, there are a few animals that don't live in Australia. Because when we're using keyword sign, we're using individual Auslan signs, there often isn't a sign in Auslan or Australian Sign Language for animals that don't live in our country. So before we finish today, we might go through the alphabet one more time together from A all the way through to Z. I'll do it nice and slowly. A, B or B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, or P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Well done for signing along to the alphabet with me. Thanks for joining us today for A, B, C, and I look forward to signing with you next time. Bye, everyone.